cheers to you for preparing for the GMAT. Congratulations. Ah, uh, delicious water. All right, let's dive in. Um, today, we're back talking about idioms, must know idioms. Um, and these are some of the tougher parts of the sentence correction uh, portion of the test. And so these are just idioms that you want to know because um, they will be tested. And if you know them, then it's really easy to see what's right and what's wrong on the test. All right, so let's dive in. We got four to look at. Um, our first sentence here, the journalist asked whether the senator thought the new bill was consistent in its revised form with to the accepted science of the day. So our word here is consistent, and we need to decide, do we use with or to um, in this case? And so when we're using inconsistent or consistent, we always want to choose with not to. So it's idiomatic to always say consistent with. And you can see here, made it a little bit harder because there's this uh, prepositional phrase in between it, but it's still going to be with. So consistent with is correct. Next, Jane played down her chance of, chance for, becoming the next associate at her firm. Okay, and so we're using uh, the word chance here to imply uh, a probability that something might happen in the future. So in this case, um, we always want to use of. So chance of becoming. Um, so anytime you're talking about the probability of something happening and you're using the word chance, you're also going to use of. Chance of. Um, moving forward, when the team was planning a trip to Croatia, the coach suggested that the parents go, would go, so she was not the only one supervising. Smart idea. Um, so the uh, idiomatic word here is suggested. And with suggested, you're going to always have a that clause. Um, and you don't need the would. Would is not needed. Um, just go. So suggested that the parents go. Finally, most people in general are reluctant in praising to praising others. Um, so the word we're looking at here is reluctant, and you need to decide between um, basically a gerund or an infinitive here, and with reluctant, we always want to choose the infinitive, so that means to plus uh, the base form of a verb. So most people in general are reluctant to praise others, not in praising. Avoid the gerund in this case. All right. That's it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, complaints, kanjis, or queries, please let us know about them in the comment section below, down below my feet. Um, and until next Tuesday, be excellent to the universe.